course to my left from Shelby, North Carolina, weighing in at 287 pounds, the blue collar badass, Jay D. Dre. His opponent to my right from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 184 pounds, Kevin Blackmore! Red Death Daniel Garcia, Christian Casanova, two men have punched their ticket to the finals of the 2020 Vacation Land Cup. Now we await number three. I'm excited, man. I can't even hold it in. Uh, J.D. Drake, Kevin Blackwood, a first time ever meeting, and we're off. Per referee Eric Greenlee, good favorite. You really want to go down that path on this one? Because I I don't. Don't. I'd rather focus on this match, We've which got should be a treat. Incredible talent in the ring here. And, oh, <laughs> the size difference already rearing its ugly head for Kevin Black. It certainly is, and it features one of my favorite in all of pro wrestling today, J.D. Drake. This is a guy, Randy, that was at the very top of the world, looked like he was on the brink of breaking out into superstardom at the beginning of this year, and then all of a sudden finds himself having to prove something in this tournament. Well, I'm happy to have him here in Limitless Wrestling. I'm happy this is the platform to prove it. Like you said, an incredible start to the year. He spent a week at the Performance Center, was doing NXT house shows, and then Evolve Wrestling, he was, an Evolve, he was a signed talent. And now they're no longer, and he's here in Limitless Wrestling looking to prove a point. Well, he and Kevin Blackwood just had quite the exchange there. Kevin Blackwood is just trying to muster up whatever he can, Randy, and there's that experience that you talked about from J.D. Drake planting Kevin Blackwood. Tried to keep a hold on that side headlock, maybe try to take him over for a headlock takeover, but uh, the human beer keg known as J.D. Drake ain't moving easily. Take nothing away from Kevin Blackwood. I, I would argue, Randy, this event belongs to Kevin Blackwood. Last year, maybe his breakout performance in Limitless Wrestling. Such an emotional night. If you haven't seen it, it's in the IWTV archives, the 2019 Vacation Land Cup. Mark the professional wrestling return of Kevin Blackwood, six months after a near life-threatening accident, able to duck the kick from J.D. Drake and now firing away at the midsection. And a big wow. strike from Kevin Blackwood and Randy. I've called a few J.D. Drake matches, and I know this well enough at this point. That is not something you want to do to the blue-collar badass. No, and I think Kevin Blackwood about to realize that real quick. J.D. Drake not enthused, looking for a clothesline, but Kevin just too quick. Whoa! Look for one of his own staggering, oh, but not taking down the blue-collar badass. There it is. Able to drop, drop, kick the knee away, and a double stop to the spine. Look at that targeted offense by Kevin Blackwood. You gotta work fast if you want to beat a big man. Spinning uppercut into the corner from Kevin Blackwood, looking for number two. Relentless with those in the corner. Oh! oh! <laughs> you see his soul leaving his body. The limited capacity crowd here at the Vacation Land Cup just came unglued for that one, right? I came unglued for that one. Kevin Blackwood in a world of hurt on the canvas. This is the position you don't want to be in if you're Kevin Blackwood. You don't want to give J.D. Drake an opportunity to get that offensive upper hand because once you're feeling that pain, there's not a lot of ways to get back from that. That was a spine-rattling kick from J.D. Drake with those cowboy boots right to the back. Oh, there's one of those pan and chops from J.D. Drake. How many are we going to get tonight? Well, it looks like you're about to get another, but he ducks out of the way. Here comes Kevin Blackwood. Kicks to the chest, trying to light him up like a Christmas tree. Trying to just stagger J.D. Drake. Using the ropes to keep himself up, and there goes Kevin to the apron. Ooh! I've heard that's the hardest part of the ring. Yeah, absolutely. A clothesline with Kevin Blackwood tumbling onto the ring frame certainly doesn't do any good for Blackwood's chances. But, as you were discussing before, we've learned a lot about the heart of Kevin Blackwood over these past couple of years. Last year, he made his return from that horrible car accident, and then 
was able to make his way into the Vacation Land Cup Finals where he even eliminated JT Dunn. Yeah, this isn't new to him. Kevin Blackwood with his first finals appearance last year, as you said, defeating the inaugural winner in JT Dunn. A huge win for Kevin Blackwood, and he needs to get past the first round today if he wants a shot at the World Championship. Oh, oh my goodness, innovative offense from J.D. Drake tossing Kevin Blackwood like a rag doll off the ropes. That's how you use your surroundings. Ricocheting Blackwood off the ring ropes. Blackwood looking out of it. There are a lot of independent wrestling fans, Randy, may know J.D. Drake more for his tag team work with the work horsemen, but he's really spent the last year or so trying to prove to everyone that he can stand alone. This is the place to do it, and this is the tournament to do it. Last year, J.D. Drake at the Vacation Land Cup, but not in the tournament. Competing in tag team action, like you said, with Anthony Henry against the Maine State Posse. And another chop from J.D. Drake. And don't forget, one of my favorite matches last year in oh, all of Limitless. On. Eric Greenlee passed to get over here. And, uh, oh, no. Oh! Washing the boot across the face of Blackwood. He's a special team specialist. Senton squishing the air out of the body. Still only two, though. I was saying last year, a Twilight Zone in this very building defeated Alec Price in one of my favorite matches. And hey, if J.D. Drake moves on, Alec Price could potentially be someone that he squares off with again later. Today. Wouldn't that be something? He's been wanting to get his hands on Alec again for months. Actually, over a year at this point. How crazy is that? Time flies when you're having fun, and J.D. Drake is having a lot of fun right now with Kevin Blackwood stretching out that face. Driving the knee into the top of the spine. Kevin Blackwood trying to twist back to a vertical base here. Trying to break the grip of J.D. Drake, and he does. And you heard it there from Drake. Called him stupid. And here he goes up and over. Wow. What power from Drake. But only good for a two count from referee Eric Greenlee. The blue collar badass looking stunned. I think he is. There is, as you said, a clear size advantage for Dave J.D. Drake here. With the resilience on display of Kevin Blackwood. Net, something that you just can't take away from him. You look at his big wins from last year, as we said. Defeating Christian Casanova, who punched his ticket earlier tonight to the finals. Defeating him in the first round last year as J.D. Drake. Now berating Blackwood, who's firing back here. Kevin Blackwood on the receiving end of a big forearm from J.D. Drake. You look at the difference. It took three from Kevin Blackwood to stun J.D. Drake. A forearm and a chop taking down Blackwood. But Randy, I cover professional athletics for a living, and I know that David does slay Goliath sometimes. And right now, Kevin Blackwood trying to do that, but that won't help his cause. But look at Kevin Blackwood trying to fight through. J.D. Drake says, great. Here comes Drake, meaty forearms. Big kick from Blackwood, trying to tear him down with the kicks. That one connecting to the chest. Oh, back of the head caved in from Blackwood with the back kick. But he can't waste any time, Randy. He's got the big man down. He has to capitalize. But he doesn't even have him flat on the canvas. You've got to figure out your next move. There's no pin to be had there. He knows that's not the end of the match. I don't know if he's getting him up for this suplex. Ooh, right on the chin with that back elbow. Caught himself, passes by, there it is! Oh my goodness! Good God Almighty, the strength from Blackwood! Oh, a deadlift suplex from Kevin Blackwood! Where is this coming from? It's all heart, Randy! Dropping him with a kick to the side of the head! Quickly into the cover! And just before three, does J.D. Dre kick out? Kevin can't, what a flurry of offense right there! Kevin's astounded. And we say this with all of these semi-final matches, Randy, but a reminder, the winner of this has to wrestle again tonight. Jeez, gosh. That's a, that's a tall task in itself. Not only is Kevin Blackwood wasting energy trying to get J.D. Drake down, but he's feeling the hurt as he goes for the stomp. But there's J.D. Drake with the chop. Just a hard stop. Stopping him in his tracks. The athleticism from J.D. Drake going up and over. See you later, Blackwood. Bossman slam. Oh. Only two. And now Drake recognizing wasting no time. This is his tribute to all great big men of the past. Oh, God. Wishing Blackwood with the Vader bomb. 
Oh, another kick out from Kevin Blackwood. I thought that was it, John. J.D. Drake in disbelief. Look at Blackwood. He hasn't even moved an inch since getting that shoulder off the canvas. All instinct. What a start to the Vacation Land Cup here on IWTV. John Alva, Randy Carter coming to you. This match presented to you by the Ringside Land Podcast. J.D. Drake and Kevin Blackwood giving us another memorable VLC semifinal. Drake, I think, looking to bring him back to his feet here. Nope. Maybe a gut wrench power bomb, but Kevin landing on his feet connects with a big boot. Spine Buster! Spine on the pine, could it be over? Two once again. J.D. Drake pulling out the, the best that he's got in his arsenal. And it's still not doing the trick on Kevin Blackwood. Kevin Blackwood take nothing away from him either, Randy. We talked about J.D. Drake's pedigree. Kevin Blackwood's been on national TV this year. He has. An appearance for AEW. Very cool to see these guys rising the ranks of professional wrestling, especially in a tough year like this. The toughest year to do it. Blackwood connecting with a kick. That looked like it was to the back of the knee. It was, and this is great scouting from Kevin Blackwood. He knows he cannot let J.D. Drake go for a moonsault. He cannot let him take advantage of being at the top. And what the hell? positioning. Oh! Unreal Blackwood propelling J.D. Drake down. Big knee connecting right to the face of Drake. He could be out. Eric Greenleaf only counts two once again. Kevin Blackwood comes in strong with these flurries of offense, but just not enough to keep down the blue-collar badass. It seems like Kevin Blackwood is struggling to control the pace of this matchup because it's those quick spurts of offense that give him his best chance, but there's just no way to control it against a guy like J.D. Drake, but he's down, and Kevin Blackwood is going up. Blackwood to the top rope. Look for the double stomp. Caught with a kick. J.D. Drake kicking his teeth out. <laughs> the drill bit connecting from Drake. And that's all she wrote for Kevin Blackwood. We have three. Advancing to the finals of the 2020 Vacation